welcome again to Quickies. Uh, we have a visitor here to Atlanta. If you know the Lost Boys franchise, then you know Mr. Jameson Newlander. Hello, hello everybody. Hi Quickies people, Quickies fans. <laughs> so, Jameson, what got you into acting in the first place? Um, I was trying to be a doctor, actually. Originally, I was a pretty good student. I was going to want to be a doctor, so I thought I would do commercials. It was my mom's idea to do commercials to get money for med school, and then it took off from there. So what's been your favorite role so far, and why? Well, I mean, so Lost Boys, Alan Frog and Lost Boys has been by far the biggest part that I've done publicly. I mean, I've done plays and things like that, but so that would be, you know, plus I got to revisit it a few years ago in Lost Boys 3, and so uh, mm -hmm. Lost Boys the first. So yeah, that's by far my favorite role. That was awesome. That was great fun. All right. So you're a hero to many. Who are your heroes? Wow. I, you know, I grew up in an era where, like, like De Niro and Pacino and all those, like, really heavy actors, you know, I mean, these aren't really, like, uh, horror actors, you know, but, uh -huh. um, like, you know, that, like, Brando, you know, that sort of school of acting. Now, those are my, those are my heroes. And, uh, what are you supposed to be doing right now if you weren't acting? Well, I, I have a sort of a double life. I also do other things. I write and I also have a two boys, two wonderful boys, so if I, at this moment, if I weren't here, you know, with like movie and stuff like that, I would be home hanging with my beautiful boys. What do you love most about acting? Um, I think I love the feeling of really nailing something, really getting, sort of getting inside, uh, getting inside someone's head and kind of making it alive. You know, it's like the word, the writer does a great job, I write as well, and so the writer does a great job often of bringing the words to life within the context of words, but without that voice, you know, the actor's the one that has to come in and really make it breathe, and that's what I love. So what would you say is the hardest part of the acting career? You know, I used to think that uh, people were crazy when they said that learning the lines was the hardest part, but now that I'm older, it's, it's hard. Yeah, <laughs> that, that can be hard. That actually is not the hardest part, but the hardest part is the business of it is, you know, we're happy with anything, anything that you love and passionate about, and then you deal with the business side of it, and there's more challenges, and like, this is business, and, you know, so that's hard. So what do you know about show business now that you wish you had known then? Uh, I, you know what, I got, I, I have it actually summarized into one thing, which is people. Show business is about the people, and it's about relationships, and I didn't understand that back in the day. I thought it was about talent and trying to be as good an actor as possible, and, and that's, of course that's part of it, because that goes into your relationships, how good a job you do, but um, those relationships and being genuinely a good person, I think is probably the best business approach to acting that I can think of. Any uh, words of encouragement for your legions of fans out there, most of them getting into acting? Um, I would say uh, yes. Um, kind of piggybacking off my last answer, I would say uh, go hang out. Go hang out with people. You know, people you're working with. Go out. Go hang out. Have have drinks. Or I mean, not if you know, if you're an alcoholic. You know, have soda. You know, uh -huh. kind of thing. But I mean, you know what I mean. Have go out and be social and be genuine and keep in touch with people. And I think that's that's my encouragement. It's like it's about the people and it's about the art, but it's also about the people, which is great because people are awesome. So, what are you filming now? Any uh, future endeavors? Yes, I have a few projects in the hopper. Uh, I, uh, last year I shot three movies. Um, uh, this uh, show, this movie called Bone Tomahawk, by, written, by a good friend, written and directed by a good friend of mine, uh, uh, S. Craig Zoller. Um, and it's his first venture into feature film. It's a horror movie with Kurt Russell and a bunch of other big names. It's great. Um, I, uh, there's another piece called Sky Harbor, smaller movie, up-and-coming director, great guy, Brian Farmer, his name. Um, gotcha. And, so, anything to plug? Any movies, websites, anything, yeah. any parting words for us? Um, I would say, uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm at Jameson Newland. This, it, it knocked off the ER, the Twitter handle. So, uh, that, and you'll keep up with my updates. I'm really hoping to, uh, have, um, an internet series coming out, uh, but I'm, you know, that's still in the works, but sometime this year, also a podcast I'll be doing, and I'm just out there doing different stuff, so. So if I have any problems with vampires, I know who to call, Mr. Jameson Newlander. You can always call me for your vampire troubles. <laughs> this is Ted, this is Quickies, have a good day.